Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dutch Dragon. We're still playing Europa Universalis 4 with the Ottomans and I was just looking at my finances. It seems we're losing money and uh, that happened when we uh, took over all of this because we took several forts into our territory and I think we have too much. If you look at my expenses, you can see fort maintenance is 18 ducats and that's insane. Especially if you see we have some sort of link. That's one, two, three, four. Five castles almost in a row. That's uh, way too much. So I'm gonna delete a few. This being one of them. Ankara here can join in the deletion. I'd like to keep these. These are uh, border forts after all. This one doesn't seem as important. Although it does protect this one, sort of. Um, anyone left up here? I think these two are good. So at least we killed a few. I have two here and I like to keep it that way because it's uh, a nice shortcut from here to there. So having a fort here will uh, well, basically stop them from taking over right away. So all these troops are uh, gathering in Krim. And once they're there we'll start uh, taking all of this back. It looks like, looks like we have a few cores left to make. So let's uh, get to it. That's a lot, actually. There we go. Not sure why we can't core the other two. Ah, we run out of stuff. That makes sense. All right. Um, time to unpause and get going. It seems a Guzu Kumuk is uh, canceling military access. That's fine. Moscovy likes to have access. I'm gonna deny that. Overextension is dangerously high, 88%. That is a bit high, yes. If we get that down, we could take care of all of this. Because we have a huge list of rebels that are uh, about to show up. We could spe spend some uh, military power to uh, take them down. But that would be a waste of stuff. Let's see. Uh, great constructions. Uh, we can either gain 50 admin power, which is nice. Or... Reduce building cost and development cost. Uh, less development cost is definitely good. So let's take that. This fortress is about to fall. Let's hope they don't make it. They need one more tick. Yeah, that's lucky. All right. So you guys attack. And the rest of you, make sure to join in. That should prevent the city from falling. There we go. Excellent. That's a win. I'm gonna merge them. And I'm gonna consolidate my horses. Making that 14 4 4. I'm gonna do the same here. Army is a bit large. And we don't need that much cavalry right now. We should focus on the manpower and artillery. Alright. Let's continue. You can see we can pick up a defender of the faith no one has claimed the title yet for the orthodox religion it means we can defend anyone who gets attacked who is in our religious group it will increase technology cost which is already quite high because we're not a western power so i have no intention of picking this up although it would give us an extra missionary and some extra morale but that's not what i need right now seems another agent is discovered that's fine it's time to make a few more claims. Oh, we are already claiming here. Let's make a few claims on Bosnia then. Visoki. And a few more over here. There we go. Missionary is almost finished. Time to send in a new one. Conversion successful. And our treaty with um, 128. I'll take that one first. It's a long one, but also a good one. Um, let's see. We could declare war on uh, Venice and uh, take over Naxos, Necroponte, Crete, and 
Corfu, although Corfu is key in uh, saving right now. Let me explain to you why. As you know, we want to uh, westernize at this point. The only way we can westernize if there is any uh, western power who is seven techs ahead. These guys aren't seven techs ahead and they aren't western themselves. I think they have eastern tech level. Not sure I can see that, but I think they're eastern. So we need a western power and Corfu because it's only one province and isn't coring anything they have tons of admin points and all they do is just invest it in technology so they are uh, I think by far the most modern state at this point 10 10 10 yeah, 10 admin 10 diplo and 10 military and we are 7 8 9 so we are a lot worse we're already three six stacks behind on them so one more and we should be able to uh, westernize so I don't want to invade them I don't want to take them over because I need them to stay there um, but we can still take out uh, Crete, Necro, and uh, what's this? Nexus. In order to do that, I'll need a fleet and a transport fleet, which is right here. So let's assemble them. There we go. It will require some more uh, admin stuff to uh, core them as well, but I'd like to unite this stuff and get all those tiny countries out. In the train dispute against Nexos, good, so we have a reason to go to war as well. That's exactly what we need. Where's my trade fleet? It's right here. Let's get you home. Hire an admiral. Let's hope we pick a good one. Ah, that's not good at all. But we'll take it for now. Let's uh, get some troops in. That should do it. There you go. Great advisor died. That's fine. Another revolt. Let's pause for a second. All right. It's two armies at once. So you guys head over here. Now let's see. Let's declare war on you. We can. Why not? We don't have any diplomats to send. All right. Let's wait. For the fabrication to be completed shouldn't take that long i think we have enough to start coring some more stuff yep uh, only one but we'll take it let's focus on this um get some manpower in good and get to war then 99 almost there Get you guys a little closer. Let's do a big army reform. Yes. All right. We lost. What did we lose? Oh damn! We lost the rebels. Err. Oh well. Let's send in some mercs ASAP. Let's take care of this first. Um, declare war on you. That will trigger Venice into a war. Yeah, that should do it. That should keep Naxos out, right? What if we declare war on them directly? That will get Corfu in. That's not what we want. Um, oh, let's do it anyway. Make creep my war target. There we go. Declare war. Split them. One army going here. And one going here and in the meantime one army going here this army is still redrawing let me get you some mercs to uh, counter those uh, rebels eight should be sufficient hundred cash being drained there but so be it there we go oh there's no fort here good Ooh, let's be evil let's get this fleet in here by the time this city's taken over we also get a chance to attack the fleet there we go 
We sunk it, I hope. No, they only lost the ship. We didn't sink any. Oh well. Let the fleet remain here. Excellent. Ooh, Corfu is moving against us. Brave lad. That's eh, alright. Alright, you guys back in here. Uh, let's see. Gain 50 diplo power and gain inflation. Now let's do this the easy way. Ah, looks like they joined forces. That's why I didn't take him out the first time. Uh, Hungary wants access. That's fine. All yours. Make core. Diplomat returned from Bosnia. That's okay. I don't mind if he takes all over all of this. Could call them in. Oh, actually, I did. Hmm. Okay, these guys are ready. And off you go. And you join him. The Council of Ferrera. His Holiness the Pope. Yada yada yada. He's fighting co uh, communism. <laughs> that didn't say communism. Protestantism. So the Pope is finding, uh, fighting a way uh, into Protestant territory. Are we still losing? Whoa. That's bad. Oh, and that's very lucky at the last second. All right, let's group up. March in. Oh, you're coming for me, that's all right. Okay, coring complete. And that should take care of most of the rebels. Right. Yeah, it does. All right, let's take the mercenaries out again. Let's save them somewhere up here, because I think we have more rebels soon. Crete's taken. These two are still being sieged. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm not at war with him. Good. For a second I thought I was. Did he declare war on them? No. Then why is he moving? Yeah, you are. Oh, good. So the second I declared war on them, apparently Austria did as well. And they have an alliance with Hungary. So Hungary didn't join my war. But they are still fighting my enemy, so that's good. Only problem is I need to make sure that no one takes over Corfu because that would be uh, really bad. So I have to make sure that I claim it instead of them. Siege of Naxos is finished. Good. Let's send you guys. Alright, I can. This fleet is blocking my troops now, which is fine. Well, not fine, but it could be worse. Yeah, he's making sure I can get out. Fine, we'll leave them there. No rebels? Nope. Let's see, are you willing to sign a peace treaty? I think not, it's probably too soon. Yeah, way too soon. Alright. 41 ships against my 51. Could that work? No, that's too many. Alright, no then. Yeah, this is becoming a problem because he is uh, taking over all these lands here. I have to put a stop to it. So let's move in my uh, main army. While I uh, make some fresh claims over here. And let's keep one in reserve because we uh, need to make that peace treaty if we want to. Let's boost the game speed a bit. Agent discovered, that's fine. Alright. Mate, you're going down. Looks like Venice is uh, well prepared. 30k army. This is mountains? Yep. Okay, so... 
they decide to come over, we should be able to defeat them. That's Athena back in our control. That's the timer. So uh, time to answer to answer. Damn, it's hard to talk today for some reason. Time to end this episode, not cancel it. And uh, ooh, too many cowards. Never seen that one before. Let's see, Muscovy wants a royal marriage. Um, no, I'm sorry, I'm gonna decline that. We will be at war soon, so no. All right, let's kick you out. There we go. Do a click split. Take all of these lands back. And then it's time to end this episode. I will try to make a peace treaty first, but... That will be successful, but it's worth a try. All right. That's all that stuff back in my control. Let's see. He is low on the war enthusiasm, so that's good. Let's see, if I give up on one of them, he's already willing to sign a treaty. Um, I'm tempted to take it. I think I'm going to skip on this one because this one is real easy to conquer next. It is Venice territory though. So let's, let's cancel that. I could force him to, uh... No, he won't make it a vassal, that's alright. He won't do any war reparations. Ooh, I could pick him humiliation instead. No, he won't even accept that. So, no. Although all his territory is taken as well. I think I'm going to continue this war, but not today. That will be in the next episode. So thank you all very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this one. And see you next time. Goodbye, folks.